Welcome back again now, so don't get alarmed. Welcome back again, guys. This is uh, section two of the game, which is the, uh, if you press the triangle button, you get your list of things. The submerged ruins is where we are. Uh, which is essentially the beige temple, or the beige temple. I don't know how you pronounce that. So we're just swimming around here. You know, uh, there's a couple of treasure chests around here. Nothing, nothing of too much importance. Uh, but we, we'll pick them up, seeing as we're here. Uh, this is still my first live stream, so if you guys do go to my Twitch channel, you'll see me uh, still streaming this game right now. Um, but yeah, I've been looking forward to this, and I was... It gives me another reason to play this game again, which is really good. You know? So... So, yeah, that's a... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Getting distracted by talking. But, um... Yeah, I actually don't know where the... I must have known the game off the back of my hand. I actually don't know where the chests are. Again, I always get confused. Uh, I can go up there, can't I? There's a chest up there, if I recall. I could be wrong. But, um... Yeah, so... That's that. Like, I'm, I'm live-streaming this for a while. I'm not going to live-stream for half an hour and turn the stream off. No, clearly I'm wrong about this. Um... very wrong about this. Um, Jesus, I shouldn't have issues with this, but um, there's definitely one on the right hand side, and there's one further up. I know this much, but um, we'll be going through the Albed uh, stuff as well, which you see up here. Uh, I'll go through that as well. And if, if there is anything I missed in this, feel free to leave me a comment and describe what I did miss, but I think I should get through pretty much all the important things. 200 gil. Gil is the money, the currency you use to spend in this game to buy items, weapons, armor, whatnot. Uh, okay, I believe it and DK will be streaming Sunday. He said he wasn't feeling up to streaming today. That's okay. I'll uh, try and pop by Sunday. See, people stream so late for me, unfortunately. Uh, I've got to mention this thing up here, actually. Um, this is a code you have to decipher. Something is written here. Idra micht frana pundisk uf murktet. Emisha dra primlugd hegdard. Hegdard. You know, I can't, um, I can't understand what that is. Feder makalania perikt dra vinder bemen we. We? We is you. Uh, sekard or kekard. I don't know, I don't know, I can't speak this. Moog hood a dra mavd peet u dra nurkard. Must sound pretty funny. What do we have here? Nope. Can't read it. I just read it. I don't know what I said, but I forgot what it says, but... It's not to do with Macalani anyway. But, uh, I totally understand. I know, Hans. I totally understand, too. I thought I'd give it my, uh... Um, I shot at, at reading Alved. But, uh, that's a language in the game that we can learn. That we will learn. <laughs> Thank you, Vertex. That was my... Al... Albred, uh... Albed attempt. So there's a, an introduction to Albed. Find Albed primers to help you decipher the strange Albed language. Saikdin dra Albed mishikta pakt un milj. I'm assuming that means find Albed primers. You previously saved Albed primer data to synthesize a new Albed primer. Select save data to synthesize Albed primer from. Please note that save data from other users will not be reflected in actual Albed primer synthesis. So, I have the option to do this, but I am not going to do it. I do not want to learn Albed off by heart. So, I want to go through this and use this guide to give you all the Albed locations. I'm trying to add the Albed accent there, uh, Hans, but I, I, I don't do a good job. I'm not good at accents. Portions. So, two more portions, which is always nice. Albed. So, that's all there is here. So we're going to go forward again, but uh, I will be collecting all the Albed primers. So for a while we won't understand what they're saying, but I will essentially... Um, well, the game kind of tells you, actually. So, you know, we will go through it like normal, and I will find that primers, and I will show you guys where they are as part of my 100% completion guide for Platinum. So we continue up, and we're here. Uh, we're not going to save, we're just going to touch the save sphere. 
And we're gonna keep going. We go left. We divert to the left because down the end of this path there is a treasure chest. Does it contain a high potion or am I gone mad? It obtains a high potion. This is how uh Um sounds uh this I know this game so well. I knew high potion basically um you can sort out stuff. I always sort it out. Thousand HP of one character, so your HP will go up. Sounds like a good bed company. I'll bet a good bed company. Whatever you're into, I suppose, Hans. Whatever you're into. <laughs> Let's go to the I'll bed. It could be a good chat line, I suppose. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Tidus, you gotta move, man. Nope. Again. Tidus is dead. Game over. Oh, no. He's alive. Phoenix down. Keep moving forward. And then a cutscene triggers. Poor Titus. The end. Platinum achieved. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first battle you can actually die if you don't do things right. Uh, you can press the... I'll show you. You can press the triangle button to defend. Which halves all physical damage you receive. It halves it. So uh, in this case, so I'm defending just attack and kill. Because why not? So I'm doing full damage now. Uh, and when you defend, your overdrive charges at half the rate because you're taking half damage. But uh, again, just kill this guy. That's all you have to do. Kill the two. One hit killing the two of them. And then another cutscene appears. He just looks a bit worried, doesn't he? Got this big thing now. And Tidus gets eaten. Game over. <laughs> Again. How can he suddenly breed underwater? Ah, and that's the question everyone wants to ask. Uh, now, this guy is a one-hit kill. You just kill him and he's game over. You kill him. No. Uh, so look at this guy. How do you go poor hero T this I was going to actually um, fight this guy. Like, he's new with a sword. This thing is huge. Um, he's mermaid mad. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Getting ready to stream in a few minutes. Peter about it. Enjoy the rest of your stream, man. Thanks, Vortex. You enjoy yours as uh, you en you enjoy yours as well. And like I said, Hans, follow Vortex. Vortex, follow Hans. You guys will enjoy each other's streams because you're active with your crowd and you're engaging and you respond and you have good communities and I support that so I'm supporting you guys so enjoy your stream Vortex uh, win a few games of basketball for me but uh, yeah see you later but yeah how do you fight this guy um, where is Barnacle Boy at Barnacle Boy question mark question mark ah he's confused uh, so yeah, we're going to fight this guy and we're going to hit him. Oh, 30 damage. He has high defense and he has armor proof. Ooh, look at that. He does 27 damage. This guy does half of your health. So if I get hit again, it'll do 113. 100, 113. Got to use the Raging Whirlpool. <laughs> Not going to use an overdrive because it's pointless. So this guy, uh, he actually can't kill you because he just does half your HP. So you just hit him a few times or defend a few times. And this is it, a cutscene appears, because you actually can't kill this guy. I mean, look at him. The guy's got 30... What has he got? 32,000 HP? 36,000 HP. He's got a lot of HP anyway. So, Titus just decides to run, because look at him. What's he going to do against him?
had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was gonna die in this place. Spongebob characters, are there hands? I don't know, I didn't. I never really watched Spongebob as a child actually. Okay, so we are in the ruins. So, there's nothing here. So we continue, continue, continue. Go to the door. Slow-mo near death escape, exactly. Hans. So, this is it. More cutscenes, a lot of cutscenes start this game, so be ready for that. Spongebob is the man, man. Spongebob square pants. Spongebob. The heat. Fire. This is pretty cold, Titus. I'll give you that. So, first and foremost, at this point, you should probably go and save your game. I'm not going to save it, because I know the game well, but I would suggest saving the game. Because the next fight that comes up, you can actually, you can actually die if you don't heal. So, we're going to examine this thing. And we get flint! Convenient sitting there. This room has nothing else. So we go to get the flint. We aren't going to start the fire yet. We didn't start the fire. We're going to go up this direction. And we're going to go through this door up here. This, there's not really much in this place. There's a chest at the bottom. So make sure you go down and get this ether. Ether restores 100 MP, which is your magic points. Or mana points. For abilities and magic, basically, you need... MP. So, see this bouquet here? I don't know what this does. I don't think it actually has any relevance to the to the game. But just pick it up, examine it. You might as well take it while it's there. A withered bouquet. Not much good for anything, but why not? Uh, so we continue, we continue in this room and we open this chest. And a high potion. This would be a great YouTube walkthrough. <laughs> this is a YouTube walkthrough. Are you being sarcastic, Hans, or serious? But, um... So that's it. It's, again, this area is not, um, is not confusing. It's just, you have two points to go, and you go board things, and you get everything. Um, so yeah. Welcome back, Banjax. To welcome back. We are still here, still alive. So when you get all that, you really have nothing else to do. So, you just go to the center area, and the mini-map on the left-hand side. Top left-hand side you see a mini-map of... Uh, uh, the X in the map means destination, so I need to go to this and press the X to examine it. And everything else is just obstacles blocking your way, like you can't walk through it. But, um... So we're gonna light the fire. We didn't start the fire. So there you go. Uh, yes, sir. It's good. Thank you. Thank you, um, Hans. I'm gonna make this good. Yo, Banjo, what's shaking? Yo, Hans. So, why are you up to tonight, Banjax? Are you up to much? It's the weekend, so happy times. No work. Titus is tired and cold. I'm cold myself, actually. I like the ceiling. I like I like ceilings on buildings. Like I was in Rome, and I love the ceilings and all the churches and cathedrals. I need food. I also love food. <laughs> what do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. I think some boots out of hospital. Oh, why are we in a hospital, uh, Banjax? What's going on? You're cold? Buy some flint. Very good. <laughs> oh, jeez, what happened? Exactly, Banjax, what happened? We're curious. 
Um, autoimmune. Got an autoimmune thingy, but no biggie. What does that mean? Hey, wait, wait. Uh, don't go out on me. I mean, you got like a weak immune system? That's my guess. Yeah. Just hold on. I'll get more wood. That's what she said. Get more wood. Well, that doesn't make sense, actually. That's what he said. He'll get more wood. I don't know. <laughs> the boy came in and said you cry. Well, he just cries a lot, so I don't be surprised by that one. It's not the double XP in Black Ops. Give me a break! Give me a break! Your immune system it hacks your nerves. Ouch! Ouch, man, that sounds really bad, actually. Okay, first boss. First official boss of the game. I just noticed the green stuff falling off him. Never noticed that before. Is that any new in the remaster version? It looks really cool, actually. I like it. It's like moss. Ah, uh, click. This guy can actually kill you, so I'm going to go through it. You can see in the corner, I have more agility. I get double turns sometimes. He does not. So, uh, let's go to attack. Full health. This is why you should always use the safe spirit before you continue. He does 109 damage. He does a decent amount of damage, guys. So, we go again. And we just keep hitting him. As we see fit, we hit him twice again. And I hit him again. Critical would be nice in here. And uh, I wanted to choose. I'm going to hit him one more time. Criticals are nice. Oh, okay. So, we're good. Could see. Suddenly, you don't feel pain. I don't know. Sorry. Inconvenient. I can imagine inconvenience one of the words I've used, but does it hurt like? Is it a painful thing to go through? So to hit my man. So am I. Doesn't sound very fun like and I, I complain about some issues I have. I suffer from bad migraines. I get a lot of migraines. That's not in compared to what you have. You on my side? Cool. So this question mark woman appears, um Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. This is using grenades tutorial. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability use. <laughs> if you see my no grid run, you know this ability was used a lot. Um, I'm like Deadpool basically. <laughs> well, that's not a bad thing, you like Deadpool. Uh, where are the guns at? The guns don't come into play, I'm gonna throw a grenade. So I, I ha you have to throw a grenade. It does decent damage, as you can see. I'm going to let Titus throw a potion on himself. This guy has got like 2,000 HP. And I'm going to use this uh, question mark to steal. This ability called steal, which you will... I'll show you again now in quicker motion. So Titus will just attack. Special. Steal. Steal items from enemy. She will steal... Um, she will steal grenades from this guy. Now she can miss. As you can see, she can miss. But Titus will do the attack because he can. And she keeps stealing. I'll steal one more grenade. If I can. This guy got, I think this guy has 2000 HP. There we go. Got a grenade. So he's 175, so we know he can't kill me in one go, so we're gonna attack. We're gonna try to steal one more grenade if we can. Because her, her attack is a lot lower than Titus's. Or she's gonna steal one more time. Nope. No look. Evasion. You can, he can miss attacks sometimes, so. Like that, you take no damage, but your overdrive does charge, I believe, and you miss. Or is that only for abilities? Okay, so I'm going to steal again. Nope. I'm going to throw another potion on Titus there, because he's low. Um, and... Oh, she can't steal another grenade. She's having difficulty stealing now. There you go. Boss is defeated. The victory music for the first time. And you get... You get AP for that boss battle? Damn, had I known that I would have used um, my overdrive. Well, no, I don't think we have got enough. Ability spheres. I'll go through that soon. Don't be sorry, I'm good. Good, Banzax. Ash shot. <laughs> there are a lot of ass shots in this game. That's one of the few. Yes, we know she's a woman, as you've established. Question mark woman is exactly what I was thinking. 
the question, man. That was close. <laughs> the monster acts me strongly. I'm actually from Le uh, Leinster. Hey, let me go. Redek Drek. A fiend in human disguise. What do we do? We kill it. I forbid it. Kuno. Kuno means sorry, by the way. I can confirm that. Uh, it wasn't discreet. No, this game is not discreet. You'll see, you'll see, um, question mark lady here. You'll see, um, a few of her ass shots coming very soon. The game likes her, uh, the game likes her a lot. So, um, on a side note, the girl's only 15 years old as well. Just saying. It's a bit weird. But, um, in Japan, see me, that's a legal thing. So, 15 is a bit scary, actually. But, nonetheless. Hello, well, really? Yes, Banjax. I am, uh, I am, um... I am Les, uh, Leinster. I was going to say Leicester. I am Leinster. Um, no, awfully. Awfully. Uh, what? She's just 15. Yeah, she's 15. Kid, did die job. Hey, that hurts. We know she's developed for a 15 year old. We know. Whoa. Okay. She's 15. Welcome Rock and Roll, you missed the intro, but hi! We're still at the start of the game nonetheless. Kindness. I'll have it on YouTube. I will upload it to YouTube so you'll, you'll get the intro, you'll get it all, don't worry. Right, whatever. Do, we hood Do you not understand? I said I don't understand. Fed! Fed, wait. He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? Yes, she does. Alright, I'll work. I'll work. I gotta go to work. Work. What's up, everyone? Oh, Japan. I know the exact moment of the ass shots. I know the exact moment of every ass shot in this game because I've played the game so much. Talk to these guys. Let's talk to this guy. Sujait! Kadofinetsetedamo! Sujait! Oh, this guy gives you something. Yep, gives you three potions. Okay. Over here, we get a cutscene. We go to this crane. What's this? Some kind of crane? Rahui! Kadiaviyavunus drana! Alright, alright! You don't have to shout! Uh, rock and roller. Hey! Oh, Japan. Yeah, Japan. 15 is legal in Japan. Now, that's why I just wanted the intro song. Ah, it's a shame you missed the intro song then. Uh, Japan, shaking my head. Gonna grab something to eat, be or a bee. Okay, rock and roller, we'll be here. Grab us some. Oh, yes, please, please do. Sound. I am rock. Points to rock of your get out. <laughs> this here is the primer, so this. You can get these later in the game if you miss this one. There's a few in the game you can't get. So, seeing as we're here, we're gonna pick this one up. Albert Primer Volume 1. Secrets of the Albert language are revealed. Y equals A. Titus has achieved the rank of Albert. Hujella. 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 So I'm going to touch this. Get my, my HP to full. And we're going to go and we're going to talk to our ass friend, as we like to call her. Oh, almost forgot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. If you get it. Here we go. The allowing system, the allowing system, the uh, upgrading system, leveling up system to this game. The Sphere Grid. Hated by some and loved by some. Mixed reviews. The Sphere Grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with spheres. Let's see how this is done. Okay, I'm going to make this book more simple. Select Sphere Grid from the main menu. Simple enough. The cursor appears at the selected character's current position. Fair enough. Understandable. Use left, up, down and right to move the cursor. Fair enough. Information on upgrades is displayed at the top of the screen on the left hand side as you can see. The location, this location is for defense upgrades. Understandable. While this one lets you learn an ability. The bigger spheres, the bigger circles are for abilities. You'll, you'll see this throughout the game. Like the one there and the one to the far right, middle, is an ability. These upgrades locations are called nodes. Fair enough. 
Characters are upgraded by activating these nodes. A character must na move near a node in order to activate it. Let's go through step by step. By pressing X, the cursor returns to its character's position and a list of commands appear. Select move. Okay. To display the number of steps the character can move. The number of steps a character can move is equivalent to his sphere level. SL level. Sphere level are gained by getting AP ability points which are obtained by participating in battles, aka winning battles. You get the ability points. Or killing enemies to give you ability points. Characters must fight battles to gain AP and obtain sphere levels, which are in turn used to move around the grid. In short, if characters do not participate in battles, they will not grow stronger. In this case, Titus has four sphere levels, so he can move up to four steps. One, two, three, four. The little sword symbol is the fourth step, as you can see. Simple enough. In general, you should be careful not to move too fast, as you may forget to activate nodes you pass over. So yeah, activate every node you get your hands on. So let's take one step and learn the ability chair. Note that you do not have to be at a node to activate it. You can do it from an adjacent node as well. So basically, if I go onto that one, the one that's highlighted now, if I move to that one, I can activate that and I can activate the one to the lower left of it, the defense fair. Once you're one away from it, if you're in the center and there's one to your right and there's one to your left, you can activate the one to your right and the one to your left. That's it. I'll, uh, I'll show it myself when I go through it. Panjax, I know you don't get it there. Um, but I'll show you. It, it, I couldn't, when I first played the game, I was really bad at this and I had to do a second playthrough of my game, third playthrough of this game, to get the hang of it. So it's quite simple. By selecting destination, sphere levels are spent and the character will move. So I move one. When the character arrives at this designated spot, you will be asked for final confirmation. In this destination is correct, select yes. Fair enough. At this point, the movement pr uh, process is complete and cannot be cancelled. It makes a kind of little noise as well. If you want to activate nodes you passed over, you must spend sphere levels to go back. We won't be doing that because I'm going to teach you how not to do this. When you're retracting your steps, you can move four steps by spending one sphere level. However, going back every time is not very cost efficient. Always plan ahead to avoid wasting sphere levels. We won't be wasting them, trust me. RPGs always make dumbass tutorials when it's actually much simpler than they make it out to be. Yeah, this is really simple. Now, since the character is in a position, let's activate a node. To activate nodes, you must use spheres. Fair enough. Spheres are items that can be obtained by various means, but mainly by defeating enemies. Understandable. Press X. Select Use. A list of spheres currently in stock will be displayed, so power spheres will activate a strength or defense or a HP node for power. Magic main spheres will will um, will activate a magic, a magic defense and an MP sphere because they're all magic oriented. Speed sphere will activate um, agility, which is your speed, how fast you can act and how many turns you can get. Uh, evasion, which is as it stands, evasion, how likely you are to evade a physical attack. Note, you cannot evade magical attacks. They are unevadable. They will always hit you regardless. Uh, or if, and then accuracy, your accuracy. Some enemies have high evasion, the higher your accuracy, the higher your chance of hitting them, and the less chance they have to evade you. Self-explanatory again. A list of spheres will be currently stuck to be displayed. Every sphere has a special function. Example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. Just stated that. And ability spheres activate ability nodes, which are the big, big nodes, as you can see. So, nodes that can be activated are the node of the character's current position and nodes directly adjacent to it. Like I said, I'll show you that in better detail when I can. This means nodes that are one step behind or ahead can also be activated. What I just said. So, in this case, I'm on that one. The ability sphere is one step to my left. So I can activate it because it's only one step away. But I can't activate the defense one beneath it. That's two steps away. So. Okay. When you select the sphere, the node that can be activated by that sphere at the position are highlighted. So it automatically drags you to the one. Uh, note, if you can't activate anything, all of the spheres will be blacked out. So if you think, oh, maybe I can reach it from here, and you go in and it's blacked out, you can't reach it because you're more than one sphere away from it. So it automatically brings you to the, to the one you can activate. Ability spheres have been selected here, so only the ability nodes will glow. By selecting the node you want, it will activate and the character will learn the ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. 
after you lose vulnerability to therapy thing. Use the same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, max HP, MP, etc. Power spheres, magic spheres, and speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding stat. Um, also, every node of the grid can be activated separately by each character. This means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving to it and using the corresponding sphere. Note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available once you are able to unlock them. Yeah, that's down the road. Now that you know how to upgrade your characters, let's look at the other useful features of the sphere grid. Oh god, it's quite long actually. When uh, this in school, I would have fallen asleep during, during this tutorial, man. Agreed, it's very long. The character's current status can be displayed at present triangle. I never really use this. Gives you a list of your stats and abilities you learn throughout the game. Uses information to plan how you wish to upgrade your characters. I never use it for that. Press L1 and R1 to swap between characters. So, question mark girl. This is useful when you wish to compare the character stats or when you wish to quickly upgrade multiple characters. I don't compare stats, I will quickly upgrade characters using this, yes. Press the uh, sensor button to zoom in and out for a better view of the grid. As you can see, the grid is quite large. So, yes. This concludes the Sphere Grid tutorial. Try improving Titus now. Okay, so we go press triangle, we go to Sphere Grid, we go to Titus. And because this is the expert Sphere Grid, it'll look different. So from where I stand, as you can see, up one is the ability chair. To the right is an empty node. So if I go to my use and pick ability sphere, I can activate chair because it's once it's one position away from me. So one more time. So I go up once, chair is there. If chair was over like this is two away, so one, two. I can't activate that until I go to this. That PG music though. So uh I can activate that one because it's one away. So I'm going to activate chair. And I'll explain what chair is in a second. Uh, so yeah, if I move up one, I can now activate defense because I'm one away, but I need a power sphere, which I have zero at the moment. So I can't activate it yet. But anyway, she can get a HP bonus because she's one away. One sphere away, HP bonus of 200. So, you know, so, uh, can't do what she already has the ability to use and steal activated which is why this person is fantastic uh, so yeah we're going to go back return to main menu yes and we're going to go to my abilities and Titus has the one chair raise party strength and defense now you can use this five times in battle once increases it twice increases it three times increases it four increases it five times increases it to its max so you will do your max strength with that increase and your max defense at five if you do six seven eight it doesn't stack anymore. It only stacks five times. So don't keep doing it thinking, oh, I can use this 50 times and do 9,500 damage at the start of the game. No, you can't. Uh, five times usually does double damage, give or take. So instead of doing 130, 140, I should be doing around 260, 250, 260, give or take. So that's it, basically. Uh, it doesn't cost any MP. It's an ability. It doesn't cost anything. Um, you know? So, uh, okay, uh, the BJ music. I brought a Greek salad, tomato, cucumber, olives, and feta cheese. Ugh, I don't like any of them. Rock and roll, actually. That's not good for me. Uh, mail it to me. Yeah, it's basically like the Crystarium, but a useless long ass tutorial as usual. Yes, rock and roll. What do you mean by saying Final Fantasy Twitch style? Uh, it's a let's play Twitch style. I'll be doing a let's play, like, I'll be explaining the game, but I'll be doing Twitch chat at the same time. So it's, I'm, I'm going to upload this to YouTube in sections so I can roll it. That's the idea. So that's my plan behind it. So we're going to continue because why waste time? We're going to talk to our little... Um, uh, you've not for me. Talk to our ass friends again. found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're going to go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. I eat that, no problem. Of course, the salad is awesome. With a lot of olive fellow oil. I used to have tuna, sweet corn, and olive pizza. Some chicken. And you've got it dead. 
I love chicken. I had a chicken fillet roll today, actually. Yeah, I get chicken fillet rolls frequently in the shop. Tuna. And I, and I found a fish. Okay, so we're going to keep swimming. Because you can press the B button to go lower, like to dive down. Which is not relevant, but I like to just hold the B button and stay down. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And a random encounter. This is the battle system. It's a random encounter. So we're going to steal from the piranhas because they give grenades. Because piranhas give you grenades. And now we're going to have um, Titus just hitting them. And we, we let her kill him as well. Why not? True, but, but the chicken kind of... <laughs> Oh man, there is one sauce people use in pizza which totally wins me over. It tastes me. Don't like sauce. So there you go. I need 8 AP for Titus to level up and 4 and 35 for question mark or level up. That's a lot. And we got one main sphere and one power sphere. So that means if I go back to the sphere grid and I go to her, she's one spot away from HP, which is a power sphere. I currently have a power sphere. I'm going to activate that, give her a bonus. Feck, now I'm hungry. I'm always hungry, Banjack, so it's all good. So we continue. Keep going. Follow the arrow on the minimap. The arrow is your destination. We just keep going. Simple. Nothing down here that to note of uh, importance. You can stay there and fight a few things if you want. But I'm not going to power level. And there's no point in you trying to power level. The enemies give you nothing down here. So we just continue. Uh, so yeah, we keep going, and all we can do is examine this. So press X. Nope, rock and roller. No one here played uh, Firehouse 10 before, so Hans didn't play it, uh, Banjax didn't play it. So you know, so it's just you and me. So come around here and. We can return to the ship here, where we started from, but there's no need for it. That's all there is to note. If you want to go back to the ship and fight more enemies, you can, but... And we keep going. We keep following the, the way. We follow Riku, and we go to the X, the X I mentioned earlier. And we get attacked. As you do. So, Riku is going to steal a grenade and catch it, and Titus is going to attack. Uh, oh, Riku's getting attacked now. Uh, we're going to steal from this one. More grenades times two, so it's a rare steal. Titus hits. Titus gets attacked. Riku's going to steal one more time. Nothing. Titus is going to attack, and Riku is going to attack, and finish the battle. So, back to the chat again. Uh, I played 13 and a bit of 13 too. No, Bandax didn't play. It's only me and you. Damn. I'm not an anime fan. Bandax not an anime fan. Neither is um, uh, Hans. What's your opinion on 15, guys? Looks good, but don't know. I'm with you, Rock and Roll. It looks, it looks graphically, it looks really good. Um... But I'm, I'm not. I'm not actually taken by the game. I looking forward to it originally, but the more I see and the more I know about it, I'm like, ah, I'm not getting. I'm not that hyped about it. I think I see a massive day one patch for that game. Um, graphics are good, as Banjax says. Every time something, every time something it gets over commercialized, they find a way to mess it up. Yeah, very true. So I don't know yet. I hope to be. I hope. I hope it was awesome. I wasn't mad in the demo. And I was like, this is not really as exciting as I wanted to be. I wanted the battle to be a bit more fluid, a bit more fast-paced, more fluid. But now I don't know. I I'll probably still get it. Granted, but I'm not hyped for either. I'm more hyped for Final Fantasy XII. Uh, okay, so we killed them. We got two speed spheres, so we can activate evasion, accuracy, agility nodes. Every game should have a demo. Okay, so... I'm going back. I'm going the wrong way, guys. So, before we go into this next section of the game, I'm going to give Question Mark Woman a potion. You can go to your items, press the triangle button, items, potion, and give it to one of your characters out of battle, if you want. Which is really handy. So, we're going to activate this Tinder Ash at the Liberty, as you can see. Look. So, examine. More of this... 
punching this thing because you know punching things makes it work. So even after they release it to say eleven it will still be episodic. Alpha five hundred seven super ultra complete alpha omega donut edition. This is this is remastered Banjax, yes. This game was out two thousand four I think. Two thousand four, yeah. I love this game though. Fifteen is episodic. I thought Five Hearts Seven remake was episodic. Fifteen was full, as far as I was aware, unless something changed. Okay, so we go back to where we came. Not nodding up there to note. So just keep going. And oh no, we're ambushed by a big octopus. So our friend Question Mark Lady is going to steal, constantly steal. And now Titus is going to use his ability. So go to special and raise the party strength and defense. Now the chair has a low a low counter rate so if you use that it actually boosts you up see the right hand side of the screen Titus has the boss has two turns before Titus has a go but when he cheers he gets a go before the second turn because it's a a level one attack so it's hard to explain but it's a lower attack so it boosts your agility and it boosts your turn base so we're gonna use five of these with Titus here to get the most effect out of it because five is the max you can get Tentacles does decent damage. So we do another one. Titus will do this five times. And we uh, keep stealing. We can keep stealing grenades. And Tentacles will do 75 damage from before. So number three. So we're doing we're doing more damage and we're going to take our damage. Uh, keep stealing there, girls. Keep stealing. So we're 70 damage now. 63. Number 4. Um, see, one more time. No. And 5. So we're maxed out now for our uh, our chair. So we do the most damage now and our defense is at its max. So we're 50 something now. 57, yeah. See, one more time. Grenade. Awesome. That's enough stealing. Now just 290 damage. More than I thought you'd do, actually. Uh, says, um, all these random encounters must be so annoying. No, I like the random encounters, but to be totally annoying. Like, geez, when tutorial got advice, how it stops. <laughs> Maybe again, I got visitors. No worries, Banjack. So we're going to keep attacking with her now. She does as much damage as Titus does originally. Uh, you are talking about 10. Oh my god, he's not us. This game. He gave the girl skin color clothes for the ass. Well, yeah. Shaking my head, it's... It, it's it's necessary. Okay, trigger command. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left on the D-pad in the command window to access them. So he's out of reach. If I press the uh, attack button now, I'll do it for. Uh, well, I won't do it with her. I'll uh, let her stand by. She'll uh, stand by means she'll regain um, she'll regain health. And we let Titus attack. But look, out of range. He can't attack. So he'll uh, also stand by and gain a bit of health. Not this charge. There's decent damage, as you can see. And I'm gonna attack him. I'm going to attack him. So, well, I've got my turret hit on him. So he hides again like a little coward. So I'm gonna stand by with her again. Getting a bit of HP. And now I have a pincer attack for uh, Titus here. Uh, attack NA from both sides, so I'm gonna tell her to go left and I go right, so that way the guy can't do anything against us. We're gonna, we're gonna corner him basically. Now what's he gonna do? He likes to hit her, doesn't he? I'm gonna toss one grenade at him, because I can. I don't know how low he is on HP yet. But we're gonna try it. Spiral cut. We're gonna go for uh, Titus's overdrive. I hope it kills him. Now this overdrive basically is it gives you a bar and you have to get in the center. So you see, it's hard to actually hit in this game. There you go. Overkill, come on. Overkill, awesome. Double AP and double the items again. So actually ran a battle in this game and after nine. But yeah, thirteen was better in counter system in my opinion. You're engage whenever you want. Yeah, I like thirteen and I liked twelve's battle system. Because you can just decide to walk past things, you don't have to fight if you don't want to. 
You know? Hi, this level's up. Or T, this level's up. So, yeah. We uh, continue. And we follow the arrow. And we follow Asker. Her ass will show us the way out. Which is this way. After the North Fairgrid run, you found the courage to play it again. Yes. I love this game. I absolutely love this game. But I'm not... I'm doing a regular playthrough. Platinum Let's Play. So... The game is going to be a breeze now. I can use my third grid. I can use my overdrives. I can use my summons. Uh, it's all good. So, said if anyone wants to see my no third grid challenge, which is the no third grid, no summons, and no overdrives, you are more than welcome to have a look at it. So, we follow the arrow. I don't think any encounters happen here. Whole beats dive down to get a better view. That we're calling her now. Well, we call her Asker for now because we don't we don't have a name for her yet. So, but I will refer to her as a name when we find it out because I'm keeping this spider free if I can. So, that's it. Another cutscene. We look down. We see something. Ooh, we found our treasure. Also, after I finished the game, I realized this mini mission was the most important one. Yeah, it's quite an important mission actually. Little does anyone know why. You know? Well, you can say spiders in the chat if you want their uh, rock and roll. I won't read them out though, but you can, you can talk about spiders in the chat because it's not going to be seen on my YouTube channel. Well, maybe not. Keep it to spiders like two minimum if we can. What does manage auto horse mean, guys? I have this on my Twitch. You, outside! Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? <laughs> Doesn't matter to these guys. They're asses. Poopy heads. That's what they are. Uh, my Twitch says manage auto host. Recommend. Uh, hungry. What does that mean? <laughs> Whoa! Right on. Hey. It's because you eat too fast. Uh -huh. <laughs> new feature? Hey! I mean, I'm gonna into that new feature actually. Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Riku. Whoa! You really do she's understand. No longer gonna be called Asker, but she's now Riku. Riku is the North Fair Grid. The North Fair Grid. Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? Winner, I basically. I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Original music, uh, rock and roller. Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. Ah, shot! <clears throat> Very Star obvious one. Star player of the Xanarkin Abes? Zoomed on the ass, right Did there. You hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Oh, right. 
Do you remember anything before that? Riku is the cheat character. She's not a cheat character. Riku is just the best for multi-purpose reasons in this game. If you know how to use her, you can do almost anything. So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. Yeah, so you can finish and the game. about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. You can finish the I game without using summons and came overdrives. Blind. But then I started to wonder. And the fair grid without using them, so she can make that happen. The Asha is just I shaking my head. say something funny? You were near Sin. Lulu. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry. You'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah. There is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. I only knew shake on my head recently as well. What, what, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Yes way. So I'm gonna save the game. Well, not save the game, I'm gonna get my... Well, there's no need for that, actually. I'm just gonna go back over to her. And, uh, nothing here to report. I'm gonna talk to Riku. You said... You play Blitzball? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. I love this game, but when I realized what it was all about, I was kind of pissed. Really? Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. What about it? Do you not like their uh, rock and roller? Uh, you'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. I actually really enjoyed the story oh. to this game. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. Ah, I see, I see, I get it. Don't get the Albert Primer. Got the Albert Primer, don't worry. Don't worry, Rock and Roll. I'm there, I'm done. I'm done with that. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Uh -uh. Whoa, whoa! By the way, F Yevon. F Yevon. Keeping it clean here, Rock and Roll. I, I won't be saying any curses. Well, not. Not deliberately. <laughs> I give it a user friendly for the YouTube uploads that it won't be copyrighted or it won't be. Infringe for bad language, but there'll be a few things in there. Shin! Shin! That shin. That's Titanic. sin, but shin. Titanic. You said that for me. I thank you, Rock and Roll. <laughs> and again, guys, Titus is dead. Third time. R.I.P. Platinum Trophy for the third time. That simple. Sin is here. You'll translate. Thank you. Uh, save current game. Yeah, we'll save it there at that point. Sure, why not? Okay, and on that note, that's the end of this episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. And uh, next, we'll continue in the next part of the game. So thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll keep you all posted. And we'll see you next.